Greetings, fellow captains. Our testing of submarines continues. They have come a long way already and changed a great deal since the first tests, but there is still much work to be done. So we're inviting all willing players to help us. You can check the concept of the new ship type as a separate battle type in the main game client. Your opinion is very important to us, so do share your impressions after playing. We're awaiting your feedback. Even if you've already played submarines, make sure to watch this video. We've changed a lot in terms of controlling them, new mechanics, and counteracting underwater hunters. So, let's look at how you can get your hands on them for testing. You'll get a submarine token the first time you enter the game each day during the event. Each token can be exchanged for a random bundle in the armory. Six of those contain useful coal, and one contains three free rental tier 6 submarines for three weeks of use. You can play them in the special battle type mentioned earlier. Now, to the helm. Submarines are controlled like any other ship in our game, with the W, A, S and D keys. They have two positions, surfaced and submerged, the latter of which starts from a depth of 6 meters. A submarine in her surfaced position has high speed, but is more detectable by enemies and can be hit with shells, aerial bombs, missiles and even torpedoes. Note that you can only capture key areas while in the surfaced position. To submerge, hold the C key until you reach the desired depth. To avoid holding the submerge key, you can press Ctrl plus C. To surface, hold F, or alternatively, press Ctrl plus F. Your speed is substantially limited while in the submerged position, but the visibility of your submarine decreases twofold while she is at the detection depth, 6 to 30 meters. You won't be able to spot any aircraft while in this position. For a submarine to become invisible to ships, she should submerge to a depth of 30 to 50 meters. This is what's known as her operating depth. At the operating depth, a submarine can still spot other ships, but she can also be detected by the use of hydrophone. To evade detection completely, you can submerge to the maximum depth below 50 meters by using special consumables. However, you won't be able to stay there for long. You can be spotted by other submarines, even at the maximum depth, as well as ships equipped with hydroacoustic search, which can detect submarines at any depth. Submarines are armed with acoustic homing torpedoes. If you attack an enemy from the submerged position, your torpedoes will pass under their keel at the exact depth they have been launched. In order for a torpedo to ascend and hit the enemy's most vulnerable parts, a new mechanic has been introduced, sonar pings. You can switch to sonar pings by pressing 1 or to torpedoes by pressing 2. You can choose between two ping variants, a wide and slow one or a narrow and fast one. After choosing, you'll see two markers, one at the target's bow and one at the stern. Aim at them, take a lead and shoot. After hitting one of the markers, your torpedoes will be guided to the target. After a second marker has been hit, your torpedoes will travel to the depth at which the most damage will be inflicted. It's important to remember that a submarine's detectability significantly increases upon emitting a sonar ping, but less so when in the submerged position than on the surface. It's more convenient to maneuver and locate targets while in the surfaced position and better to attack using the sonar pings while submerged. The effect of a sonar ping works only for a limited time after hitting a ship. So, while attacking a target from afar, don't forget to repeatedly emit them to prolong their effect while your torpedoes are still rushing towards their target. A further ping hit will reset the effect timer. Remember that pings affect all launched torpedoes. A torpedo being guided by sonar pings doesn't guarantee a hit. Torpedoes have poor maneuverability and slow down when turning. They also lose their guidance and start moving straight ahead a kilometer away from their target. If the enemy changes speed or course during this time, your torpedo might well miss it. That's why your primary targets should be sluggish ships. Battery charge is required for submarines to shoot sonar pings. It's spent on pings and also movement underwater at speeds above a quarter. To restore your sub's battery charge, switch to the surface position or slow down to a quarter or less. Once the batteries are fully discharged, you won't be able to fire sonar pings, but the submarine will still be able to move at any speed. 
If you press H while in battle, you'll see a lot of useful parameters for your submarine. Understanding and checking these can aid you in battle. Submarines are stealthy but fragile hunters. Pay special attention to any enemy destroyers and cruisers armed with depth charges. These can hit submarines underwater. Don't stay in one place too long and either stay close to your allies or submerge to the maximum depth when in danger. Employ maneuvers, keep from being spotted while submerged and greet your foes with surprise attacks. Make sure to watch your battery charge and use sonar pings wisely. If the first bundle didn't drop submarines for you, you have a useful opportunity to experience fighting against them. Choose any tier 6 ship and head into the special battle type. We'll say a few words on how to fight against the new ship type. If possible, you should attack submarines with high explosive shells. Submarines are the only ships in our game that can be damaged within the fragment damage area. This means that you can hit submarines until they dive below a depth of 6 meters. With respect to armor-piercing shells, you need to score a precise and direct hit on submarines. Not an easy task. Secondary armament is also very effective against submarines. However, it's depth charges launched by destroyers and light cruisers that are the most dangerous armament against submerged submarines. These are capable of dealing major damage. Destroyers are equipped with hydrophones. Pay close attention to the battle interface. If a submarine moves within a 4 to 5 kilometer radius from your ship, you'll be notified by a special indicator and the submarine's approximate location will be displayed with a special marker. The hydrophone can detect submarines at depths of up to 50 meters. Below that, submarines can only be detected by hydroacoustic search, which is effective at any depth. Approach the submarine's location and release depth charges by pressing the G key. You'll be able to launch several charges at a time with a cooldown period between uses. To avoid getting hit by a torpedo on your broadside, constantly change course and try to keep your bow or aft pointed towards the submarine. This will make it more difficult for them to hit the second point on your ship's hull with a sonar pin. Freshly armed with knowledge, go try out the new ship type and share your impressions with us. We're awaiting your feedback.